I really care about decision making and how people make decisions and how to make them differently in different contexts. So, you know, the power of foxy thinking, I'll explain to you why I titled this talk this. Uh, but uh, it goes back actually 2,500 years. There was a Greek philosopher uh, who literally said these words. The fox knows many things, but the hedgehog knows one big thing. To me, that's a story of a generalist logic versus a specialist. And it has to do with uh, foxes being you know, nimble, lots of knowledge, you know, having breadth rather than depth. Uh, and I think this is a quite powerful dynamic when it comes to thinking about uncertain environments. So let's just go into my thinking. To begin with, I believe I am slightly different in philosophy of problem solving compared to other academics. And let me describe to you why I think that. On the one extreme, I think there's something known as puzzles. And puzzles are clearly defined. Puzzles have answers. Puzzles have a solution that you have to seek. So there's data, it's missing. Seek it, find it, there's an answer. That's a puzzle. Let me give you an example of a puzzle. During the Cold War, we here in the Western world were seeking where were the Soviet warheads, how many were there, where were they pointed. The correct problem-solving approach to a puzzle was to acquire data. It was to put up the spy satellites. It was to intercept communications. It was to look at the boats going into the Cuban harbor to see what cargo they might have had, or to guesstimate what cargo they might have had. There was an answer. We just had to find it. That's a puzzle. On the other extreme over here is something I'm going to refer to as a mystery. And a mystery is poorly defined. It's ambiguous. It's uncertain. Mysteries don't have answers. The best you can hope for when it comes to a mystery is to understand how they may unfold. To lay out a handful of probabilities and apply or look through the ramifications of each scenario. So it's a scenario-based thinking process. It's a probability-weighted process. It's a ramification-oriented thinking logic. Um, so, sorry, uh, the, the key difference then is when thinking about puzzles, it's very important to generate dots. When thinking about mysteries, generating dots can actually confuse you. What you'd rather do is connect dots. And so, not surprisingly, I believe a generalist logic, a fox, if you will, is more appropriately suited to connecting dots rather than generating dots. It's the ability to see across areas of specialization that allows you to navigate uncertainty with greater success. And so, it's not a statement as to which is better, it's a statement as to which is better when. So you need to have both. You need specialists, because they generate dots. You need generalists, because they connect dots. You need hedgehogs and foxes. But it's my belief that when facing massive uncertainty, it's better to be a generalist, better to be a fox.